So, Eric, how do we edit on the wiki? Well, we go to the wiki. Technet.com slash wiki. That'll take you to social.technet.microsoft.com my wiki. Easy to remember. And this is a landing page. You're already signed in with your Windows Live ID. I am signed in. And I'm an admin, so I get a little bit extra monkey mug stuff up here that yep. generally you will not see. And what I would first want to do is, if I'm going to edit an existing topic, what I want to do is I want to find that topic. So I am going to look for... Um, that search box there, is that wiki search? Is that Bing search? This is what wiki is search, wiki absolutely. Search, okay. And I need to look for... Um, I'm going to use this. What makes a great wiki article? So this is a pretty robust topic right now. It's got types of articles. See also. If I felt like um, I could add some content to this, what I'd want to do is, once I'm joined, and I am joined here, so I'm, I'm established here, I will be able to add it. I just want to click edit. It brings up the editor. You have simple options up here, nothing too fancy. HTML can get fancy if you really need to go into HTML, but typically you don't need to. And then I might want to come down here and, let's see. I'll add some, if you... The more you contribute, Or your reputation may grow. So once I've made my change here, just by typing, uh, I could use the controls up top. So once I've done that, what I can do here is um, I can I'm going to comment here. What is that comment? What is that? This for? is for the revision. So so you're commenting on the edit you just made. On the edit, not on the topic itself. So the edit I I will come in and say added added note about reputation. So where does this comment appear? Who sees it? On the history page. And I'll ah, show you that okay. in just a second. So I've asked for updates to this page if they're changed. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to save it. Assuming the network smiles upon me. Ah, here we go. This is immediately published. No workflow. You are no edge publishing. Workflow. And here's a change. It is out there, yeah. and if I want to go into history, I can see that I did make this change today, and if I go to the last page here, I should be able to see my comment, and the comment actually published pretty quick. We're not guaranteeing that the comment's going to post quickly, but this one actually posted pretty quickly. So those revision histories at the top are last in, first out, and the comments are first in, first out, right? So the Yes, that's exactly right. right. And if that is obnoxious, then you can certainly go to the forums and recommend that we fix that and cool. change it. Can you go back to that uh, first page of the edits and show us the difference between what the, what the compare versions looks like? The sure. Compare versions button. So the changes are in green. If you scroll down, I can see that when I get that little email, it's going to show me Eric contributed a new sentence. That's right. Um, and it looks like there's an artifact up here where it, it alphabetizes it wants the to alphabetize tag. tag. So, uh, yeah, we'll have to take a look into that. Um, but, yes, it, it shows you this. And what's interesting is, is if you take a look at the RSS feed, Assuming I can do this right. Cool. The RSS feed is actually pretty nice. Yeah. It, it tells you exactly what happens. And yeah. You kind of see the history, which is interesting from a from a user assistance, uh, you know, information yeah. kind of perspective. Um, you know, there's there's knowledge geeks that like to go out and take a look at this type of the thing. The comments are in there yeah. also. Hey, uh, assume you're play role play evil Eric and uh, object to that addition that Eric just made and go undo it. So, How do you do that? If so, if I'm evil Eric, then and I'm signed in. What I can do is I can go to history, and I can decide. You know what? Um, you know, if I'm evil Eric, I might want to roll out the comment 
or all the content just because I'm bad and I don't want that content on there. More likely what the community will do is they'll take a look and they'll, they'll see the delta and they'll see the comment, they'll see the text and they'll decide that the text isn't relevant or is, runs afoul of the code of conduct. And that might be something like spam or overt, you know, naughty words, things like that. When something like that happens, what I'd want to do is, um, in this case it's relatively easy, Ed Price has been a strong contributor and, and we previously looked at this topic, it looked fine, but what I'd want to do typically is I'd want to click on the revision to find the one that I think is okay. And this looks okay, there's no naughtiness there. So once I found the one I'm interested in, what I'll do is I'll click revert, and then it just loads. So what's this comment now? So it's a great question. Um, this comment is, it's the reason why you're reverting. And in an effort to play nice with the wiki and the community, you, anytime you revert, you really need to put a reason, right? It, it, Whatever reason you think it should be, you need to articulate that. That way, when someone comes back, they'll they may not know that you know in the intervening three revisions they may not know someone spammed it, or they may not know that maybe they had a maybe their code sample was off a little bit, and you had to go in and revert it because you didn't know how to fix it, but you didn't want bad code out there, right? So if you write that, it makes it friendlier. If you don't write anything, it looks a little bit less friendly. So here I'm going to say. Um, so this is the edit log, sort of. It's like you just keep track of why you did the Why you the did action. the revert. That's a, uh, and then yes, I'm sure. And now it's been reverted. What's interesting about this is I should be able to go to the second page here. Third page here, interesting. So yeah, there's two there's two page controls, one for the uh, history up top and one for the comments. So uh, yeah, and it hasn't been posted yet. So it takes a second sometimes to clear the cache. So it will eventually show up. And then here, we should find that it is no longer there. Excellent. So it's no longer there. My guess is that this has probably already been updated. Current vision, yes, this is one minute ago this change, and there yep. it is. So we removed. So it's pretty obvious here, but again, sometimes it's going to be less obvious. Right. Interesting. Also, it links you back to the comments. And these comments, so before we, we leave how to edit, these comments, the ones that we're looking at now, are against the article itself. So what's kind of funny about this is <laughs> these two comments. So let me rewind a little bit. Um, this is Eric talking. I actually wrote the very first part of this article, and when I first created it, it was a stub. It had nothing in it. It said, do this to write a great article or something, and there was nothing there. So you knew that you wanted to eventually have content in this article, but at the time when you started it, you didn't have time maybe to finish it, right? Well, I didn't have content, and the other thing is, the wiki didn't have a lot of topics in it yet, right. so there wasn't a lot for me to go out there and kind of, this is an example, this is an example, which was my original intent, is to go out there and say, look, instead of talk about it, I want to show. You know, these topics are all great examples. So I let it bake a little bit. And while it was baking, we got some uh, wags out there that came in and uh, added some funny comments. And, um, yeah, I thought the comments were actually uh, pretty darn funny. Um, and and well-deserved because, you know, I shouldn't have left this stuff out there. Um, oh, so uh, here's here's my message here. So, yeah, the day that I fixed it, I went out there and said, uh, um, comments heard, fail, corrected. And no one came back in and said, yeah, this is a great topic. But uh, I think that it, it worked out okay. And it was a lesson. What I should have done is, when I posted it, I should have tagged it as a stub, right, or something. But I don't know if stubs had been actually migrated into the wiki at that point. Um, and I learned something. So, I mean, we all learned things when we're playing with this. So, um, as noticed over here on the right, the page details, you'll see that it was first published by Eric, and then the last revision was by Eric. And there was 15 total revisions and 20 total comments and just um, so you're aware the comments refer to article comments at the bottom of the article itself and revision comments so it's a little funky we're gonna we're gonna hopefully get that fixed in the future so this is how you edit and at another video we'll tell you how to actually create a topic um, and then this just for the sake of, uh, of posterity um, for the day that we made this video, we've got 514 pages out there and almost 100 users contributing out of a population of, my guess is it's probably around 1,000 joined. I'd have to go check, um, but, but that is a 
That's an amazing participation number. Um, that is an amazing number, and it's all possible because of folks like you watching this video, um, jumping in and helping. And, well, I'll leave it for the next video. Um, contribute boldly, edit gently, though. Thanks, Eric. Thank you.